Inside you can see. Oh, so he he, uh, he was inside the house? Yeah, yeah, there, there, the, the, footprint. the footprint is inside yeah, the house, yeah. yeah. Still the elephant walked in through one wall and out another. A possible explanation for this odd behavior is that elephants are creatures of habit, always using the same path. Perhaps this house had been built right on an old elephant trail. The broken walls aren't the only sign of the elephant's visit. Large footprints were left inside the house and outside other incriminating evidence was found. It is difficult to protect yourself from a creature that weighs over five tons. They are pasting the bark in cow dung for that smell, the elephant won't damage. Otherwise, it will completely destroy. There you can see that tree, the entire tree was bark was eaten by the elephant. Especially in the bed fruit. They were fond of the milk and you get the milky taste. So why are they coming here? This is a safe area for them, and especially in the climatic condition and the water, and they are very safe here. And if they go the below the main road, and they have the illegal trap gun and muscle load again, and you get the chain and farmers there. And but here is a safe area. Children walking to school run a risk of encountering elephants along the way. Nearly all the palm trees and banana plants in Macaldenia have been destroyed. An elephant can easily ravage 50 trees in one night. Driving through the village the next day, we found that the elephant had been back and torn down the third wall in the house, and the roof had collapsed. Houses and crops are destroyed every night, an economic catastrophe for people who already have so little. This entire area was a coconut estate. Now today I can't see much of the coconut trees. All the coconut trees have been damaged and fallen by the elephants. Here you could see one tree here and uh, there are many, thousands of trees here. Dr. Atapatu and his elephant team were called to Macaldenia to try to solve the elephant conflict. They decided to relocate the animals one by one, a solution that will probably grant only temporary relief. At the beginning when we started, there were nine elephants. Uh, we have already captured two elephants and translocated them. And then one elephant got electrocuted due to the activities of villagers and got killed and still there are six elephants left. Now we are trying to take one by one. One reason is to save the lives of elephants. The other reason is to uh, minimize the damages to the estate laborers and the other people living around. Uh, but the problem is because of this bad terrain, it is not easy to capture these elephants and translocate them. And in case if he falls in a place where we can't take a lorry, it will take days for us to take him out. So all those difficulties are there, but still we are trying to do something. It is amazing how these giants can simply disappear in the vegetation. One of the elephants had been shot with a dart. But no one knew where he had gone or if he was even alone. Sometimes elephants will stay together and defend each other. It could evolve into a very dangerous situation. Come again! 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 Come again!
Finally, the elephant was found lying in the bushes. But the most important equipment, the ropes, were still missing. This was a young and apparently strong and healthy bull elephant. Strong animals are usually more difficult to tranquilize. They can awaken suddenly and without warning. It was difficult terrain to work in, but finally the men with the ropes were able to climb the steep incline and forge through the bushes to find us. <laughs> Valuable time had already been lost. Since the elephant was having difficulty breathing, the antidote needed to be given immediately, even though only two of the legs were tied. You can come up to this place easily. There are ropes here. Yes. 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 Be careful now when you jump back. Go, Although the ropes were poorly anchored, they did temporarily stop the angry bull. Several team members were injured by the ropes and by objects the elephant threw at everyone in the vicinity. The first attempt had failed. Now the elephant was alert and furious. If the team was going to be able to bind his left legs, he would have to be tranquilized again. If the rope didn't hold this time, it would be extremely dangerous. After firing the shot, Dr. Atapata turned and ran with the elephant in close pursuit. The elephant, hindered by the rope that bound him, fell on top of Atapatu, who narrowly escaped and was taken to the hospital after the accident. The elephant was left, still bound by only one rope.
Eventually, the remaining team members regrouped and carefully continued with the task at hand. When the elephant was tranquilized a third time, things went smoothly. He collapsed in a more accessible area, and before long, all of his legs were tied. Hurry. Hey, Mr. Ban? Yes. Please go back. Be careful. In the morning, the ropes were still holding the elephant. Children on their way to school gathered to see what would happen next. Five members of the elephant team had been hurt the day before, but they were all lucky to have escaped with only minor injuries. Dr. Atapattu, now released from the hospital, had looked death in the eye. When I looked back, I saw that he was just touching me, and I thought I'll get teared off into pieces. Uh, but fortunately, as he kept his head on my body, he himself got knocked down and fell down. And then he put his trunk to grab me towards him, but during that time, I got into my senses and I rolled down and crept through the jungle and escaped.